Willkommen zum letzten Teil der Interviewreihe mit dem Weyer Invest Team. In diesem spreche ich unter anderem darüber, was man konkret tun möchte, um die Kommunikation mit den Investoren zu verbessern, was auf der Roadmap der Plattform steht, welche P2P-Plattformen die interessantesten sind und wie das Management die Entwicklung der P2P-Industrie sieht und wohin die Reise geht. Ich danke euch für die Unterstützung in Form von vielen Views und Lesungen auf dem Blog für diesen Besuch und hoffe, dass ihr über Wire Invest einiges lernen konntet. Tatsächlich kann ich schon heute sehen, dass in Sachen Kommunikation mein Besuch etwas gebracht hat und ich bin gespannt, wie die Reise der P2P-Plattform weitergeht. Und nun viel Spaß beim letzten Video. Okay, so then let's come to some more positive stuff about Wire Invest, <lacht> about the platform development. Uh, so we learned that maybe Wire Invest um, was not that good in communication in the past. Uh, but um, you are willing to change this. So what are your, your plans to, uh, to yes. make the communication a little bit better? We are willing to improve and in addition to our communication uh, via email uh, newsletters. Uh, we also want to post more on our uh, blog. But uh, one of the main things uh, that we also talked uh, with you Lars and uh, agreed on, we want to uh, enable the uh, channel for some quick and or live communication and most likely this will be telegram since uh, there are investor communities there already so uh, this will be used to post some minor updates or status updates as well as we can address some uh, questions people are asking uh, there directly or just direct them to our support which is uh, also always available by email and also the live chat is available to all clients mm. so Yeah, if client has an issue, please use our communication channels and we are always uh, ready to help. Especially a lot of um, investors' questions you can already solve in, in Telegram. Because uh, they yes, are... before they reach the support. Exactly. So, yeah, so we will try to work on this channel. And uh, since you ask timelines for a few, <laughs> a few different uh, things before, yes. uh, this should be done by the end of... August, uh, we will like prepare our um, uh, see how it fits in our uh, marketing communication strategy. Mm -hmm. But sometime by the end of the summer, we plan to start communicating there as well. Okay. So I don't know when the video will be published, but maybe then you are already in the Telegram group. So let's, okay. Yeah. Let's check <laughs> it out. You can add a comment then. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But uh, now you are developing a complete new solution. I heard right. Uh, yes, yes, uh, we are still using uh, this whole system uh, in terms of front-end, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and this will be, again, one of the last things which will be taken away from this old monolith and built according to our new architecture. Mm -hmm. um, currently, you know, it's like you're building a house, you, you first need to start with the base. Exactly. So you cannot just do something with facet and uh, and think that it will uh, stay for long. <laughs> yeah. So we started with this backend, with the base, uh, with calculations, um, with um, some optimizations regarding um, not um, having a lot of problems when we will have huge amount of transactions, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah we are thinking about this for calculations how to avoid problems in future mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for front end yeah unfortunately this is what uh, might come in some time mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not something we can promise like in month or two yeah okay uh, what is the actual status of this um, all of this new project so in which phase are you right now uh currently uh we have uh We're working on that. Uh, we um, were busy some time ago uh, with uh, still our, let's say, adapt for regulator. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had quite a lot of things to finish. Uh, so, and uh, we're still getting some requests and answering that and checking. Um, so, now uh, there are some just daily things. Uh, but also, a uh, few people are always dedicated to this project. There mm. is uh, no precise uh, timeline uh, where I could tell you, say, launch date. Mm. It's, it's uh, not on that stage 
currently, and we're still waiting for some descriptions from, from business. And you are um, servicing those customers who don't get a loan from a bank? Or uh, is... Actually, uh, no. We were uh, very frankly, like we we're trying to gather a lot some, some information from our customers. So there were surveys, the polls. And uh, these are customers uh, who have stable jobs usually mm. and uh, who decided to spoil themselves. I think that's the, the, the most appropriate term. They want to buy something extra, something special. They want to do it fast without the extra questions, as you said, by the banks, which takes significantly longer time. Mm. Uh, so they choose us. They choose the digital lenders mm. rather than the banks because of the time efficiency. The speed, yeah. Exactly. For me, it's uh, always um, crazy to see that the loan amounts are so small. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure why I should take a loan for 300 uh, or 300 or four, 400 euros. Uh, so. As I say, you want to spend some nice time. And on Friday, mm. <laughs> our sale is uh, going very high because people, they just want to have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. They want to go to the nice restaurant, maybe with husband, with wife, who mm. knows. And as a result, uh, they just need extra cash. Mm. Not much. They don't want to spend uh, 2,000 euro on the evening. So 300, 400 euro is absolutely sufficient to have great time and we help it. Mm. And what is the interest rate you, you issue to the, to the customer? Uh, approximately it is around uh, 15%. 15? 15, yes. Because we have the commission and there are also interests. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, on top of the principal, but as a combination within the 30 days, uh, we are charging approximately 15%. It's not that much if you think about it. We as an investor get 13% on, on Vaya Invest. So. Uh, but uh, you get 13% on Vaya Invest a year. Yeah. Uh, we get 15% a month. Okay, so, so this <laughs> is uh, an important information. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is different. This is different. And usually we have very high. A return rate, mm. meaning the customer who took the loan, he repaid the loan after a couple of days, he's coming again because he knows that the loan is not very expensive comparing to, 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 uh, to other uh, providers. So you already uh, told us about the new platform is coming or the new interface. Um, what, are, what, what, is else, what else is coming for, for the future for why I invest? What are the plans? Um. Yeah, the new platform is uh, like the biggest project right now. So, but this one is long term. So we also plan uh, to do some um, uh, customer success activities this year. By this, I mean uh, that we want to uh, gather investors' feedback. Um, also, the questions that you have uh, presented us today, and uh, we also want to ask investors directly um, so we can uh, add them to the list of things that we want to implement the new platform as well uh, the plans to try uh, combinations of uh, different terms and rates that I mentioned already uh, also company onboarding is on the uh, roadmap we also want to work on the automation of payments as well, so deposits withdrawals uh, can happen faster, or uh, and it's also more convenient, so it's not uh, like the manual job and manual uh, bank transfers as mm -hmm. it is right now. Uh, secondary market is also in the play, but this will be, of course, after the platform update, so probably it's even not expected next year, maybe even further, but at some point we'll probably have it. So have I missed something? Uh, I think the loyalty program, right? Changes in the program, uh, in the uh, product. Yeah. You have mentioned it already, yeah. but just in, in sum up also, we can mention that uh, we are interested in uh, financial instruments with different terms and different mm -hmm. interest rates as well, just uh, to test interest of our uh, investors as well. So, yeah. And you told uh, yesterday something about the loyalty program, right? This is yes, also coming. that's what I forgot. <laughs> so, yeah, we want uh, to um, develop and also enable the loyalty program for our uh, long-term uh, investors. Uh, I'm not uh, like revealing what uh, benefits uh, they will have right now, but uh, it will be like, a pleasant surprise for them. So we want to like, 
thank you the investors for uh, staying long term with us and also uh, trusting and investing their money. Nice, yeah. But is this coming for the old platform or also with the new platform? What's the plan for the, for the old one as well? Uh, I believe that we can start with the existing platform. Uh, so maybe even more perks and benefits with the new platform, but uh, to some extent we want to do it uh, pretty soon. So maybe like beginning of next year, okay. uh, somewhere like there. Be careful with the dates. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, don't want to make big commitments uh, right now, but uh, yeah, be because we know how like deadlines can shift. Exactly, yeah. But just to, like for, for a approximate estimation. Are you yourself invested on Via Invest to, to check out the user experience? Uh, I heard from Tatiana and Alexander that they are not invested in Via Invest right now. What about you? Uh, so I'm an investor in our <laughs> platform, so you know not so active, works. yes, mm. I know how it works and uh, it's very interesting to understand from the other side how it works, so exactly. it works. Yeah. Yes, it's very interesting. Are you also invested in some P2P platforms or companies or how you learn about your competitors or also the, the usability of the platform itself maybe? Uh, actually, I do invest mm. uh, both in Mintos and uh, via Uh, ah, in Mintos, okay. Yes, yes, uh, but also in uh, VI Invest, mm. I have a significant investment of my own. Uh, how I check my competitors? Maybe I will keep it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you, are, if you are on Mintos, you can check a lot. But it would be uh, interesting to hear how you choose your investments there. So, do you choose? Um, the loan companies, or do you use the I, automated strategy? Actually, I I try to choose uh, loan uh, loan originators. I know. Uh, so, for instance, in Mintos, I was investing in Zenka. Okay. Uh, also, like we invest, I invest in the company also which mm. I run. Uh, it makes sense for you. Yes, yes, it does. Uh, so, I try to choose the company I know. Yeah. So yeah. According to, to my personal rating, I would personally not invest in Zenka because it's uh, uh, dangerous compared to other companies on Mintos, I would say. But of course, if you have more insights, then it's easy for you to... I was managing the collection process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So. But maybe some other hints for, for uh, investors. So which companies are your favorite? So top, top three favorites on Mintos? Uh, actually, uh, Sun Finance, okay. uh, who recently... Uh, Nonetheless, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, they acquired uh, Zenka. Yeah, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, looking also for the Asia, uh, but uh, no hints uh, at this moment. I'm trying to understand the market there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Asia is uh, more popular since the war, I would say. So the people are going back from from Europe a little bit and uh, are focusing more investments, for example, in Mexico or in mm -hmm. Asia as well, because it's um, from the geopolitical side maybe more secure, or it looks like. This. Sometimes. At least it does look so, mm. but I need a little bit more time to verify yeah. all the important elements, especially when you are investing with your own money. Yeah. If you would invest in just two P2P platforms besides Via Invest, uh, you said, as I remember correctly, you are not invested in Via Invest? Uh, not yet, but okay. I do have plans. But uh, in which platforms you would invest uh, right now besides Via Invest, if you have to choose two? Mm. Alexander, you can start. Yeah, I can. I, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> so, uh, I think uh, I really like like the new one, uh, the Indemo platform. Um, Which is not live so far. It's not live, yeah, but uh, yeah. so okay. if we are speaking in theoretically, so we're speaking about theoretical platform, but <laughs> of course they will be live. So, uh, yeah, Indemo is interesting. Uh, Maybe I will also check out uh, the biggest one, uh, Mintos, Mintos uh, just because of the uh, lo lots of investment uh, like opportunities there, so I can like play with different rates. Maybe try more riskier ones uh, or uh, try uh, the ones with less risk. But probably for the less risk, uh, I would not go to Mintos. But just uh, as I saw, they have some. Uh, offers 20 plus percent so yeah. uh, maybe i would play with them as well but just a little uh, 
which was part of my portfolio. Okay, so mm -hmm. they weren't Mintos. Yeah, I like Mintos as well, but um, I also lost, I think, the most money in P2P I lost with Mintos. So, it's the, so yeah, that's it's a dangerous platform as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would that, say that's that very small part. <laughs> it's not losses. You paid for the experience. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also not lost, but it's stuck for years. Uh, you don't know. Uh, oh, what. so maybe it will be back. Yeah, if you uh, believe in Russia, then maybe yes. <laughs> but <laughs> If okay. not, then probably not. <laughs> but yeah, what about you? It's a kind of a <laughs> not fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I have the same choice. And uh, I know that in Demo is already approved their prospectus and they are uh, almost open for the investors. So I think it's a matter of time. Some maybe a few days or something. Uh, there are some reasons why they uh, do not uh, open this investments for everyone. Uh, I think that their product is, a, is something out of the P2P market mm -hmm. and they are closer to the banking or classical investments and also entrance uh, is higher than uh, for instance we have. But the product itself is quite interesting. That, that because of product and it's not because I want to gain money and invest and get interest and to live as a, you know, just a person who is not working, but uh, investing. That is because I'm a product person and I'm interesting, interested in the product itself. Mm -hmm. We had the experience with similar product in Lionvest two years ago and we uh, no, we, I remember, we tried yeah. mm, with yeah. Spain with the same partners that they have um, just because Latvia is too small country but uh, it was not popular with our investors and um, it was quite clear before we launched because our investors in a way different they have different minds and uh, mm. different goals for investments therefore I would say that with Endeavor, in demo we, uh, we are not kind of competitors, direct competitors, because um, they target different market. Yeah. And the second, of course, uh, I have accounts in different platforms and I also opened an account in one UK uh, platform. And what stopped me there to start investing was um, the highest entrance mm, yeah. fee as well. And uh, I think that in our position, in our, uh, I invest as a product person, I invest only uh, with interest uh, to understand how other market participants are working. And so the second platform that I would choose and where I'm a customer also is Mintos mm -hmm. as well. And uh, Mintos is interesting for me as a uh, first market participant because they started first in, in the you know, Latvia uh, at least and they are the largest one and I would say that they are uh, in a way market drivers and of course uh, we would say that um, uh, I, I could say that they are implementing a lot of innovations and I'm really kind of proud of them as, uh, as, as a team and as a company but also uh, we were happy to see that there were some uh, features in marketing which uh, some other platforms uh, copied from us. Hmm. Therefore, I think that um, here we are quite, as I said, in a one boat also for development issues. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's a big family. <laughs> a family, right. <laughs> yeah. Because we know also each other, I mean, the teams and also uh, we met in Finn Palace and uh, we met on also on other events. And we met with uh, Central Bank. And <laughs> had a altogether. party at our office where representatives yeah. from other platforms were invited. So, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I expected Mintos, but not Indemo. So this is quite interesting that you have chosen uh, Indemo as a second platform. So huh? Did you sign up uh, for... Uh, of course, yeah. But I'm still waiting for the, uh, for the platform. So <laughs> but I'm waiting since two years, I think I met them the first time in Germany. They said, we are starting 
in the next month or something like this. But now it's two years later and mm. the platform yeah. is still not online. You might have, have a saying that uh, the thing that comes like slowly, it's like a good thing. It will yeah. turn out <laughs> good. So uh, let's wish them luck. But maybe a personal question to you. Do you invest on Via Invest as well to see how the platform is working and maybe feel all these issues um, the investors have? Um, yes, I do. Um, but here I have thought to admit that I'm looking out of this interface with a bit different eyes. Of course, yeah. Um, so I can uh, miss something what is not working well because I'm just used to, <laughs> to that or mm. I know uh, what is there behind some figures, behind some buttons. I, I know how it works inside mm -hmm. and that's why it's a bit hard to take a fresh look on uh, the front. Mm. So it's, um, I wouldn't say it's similar to external testing or, or something like that. Okay, okay. But do you check as well other platforms to um, maybe see some examples how, how they are doing stuff um, like that? We're, we're, we're doing uh, some tests. Uh, I'm not investing on other platforms, mm -hmm. yeah, personally. Um, so you're just um, registered there to see uh, what they are doing? So uh, we, we are, um, yeah, we're registering, we're checking, um, taking a look, right, uh, reading something. Mm -hmm. So. Because if I take a look at your new strategies, auto invest strategies, they are very similar to, let's say, the ones from Mintos or the ones from Bonsta, I think. It's all similar. So I, I guess mm. you take a look at them as well. It also, uh, so some requirements are coming from regulator and mm, it's, okay. uh, there are some things which are, let's say, you have only one option how to implement it to, uh, to make it good for investors and also, um, Good for regulator. What do you think? What has changed in the industry um, since Via Invest has started? And what is your outlook for the industry as well? Google. If you are longer in the industry, Tatiana. It's kind of, Via Invest started in uh, 2016, mm -hmm. but um, other market participants. So if you are talking about Latvia only, it was uh, in the UK they were first, I think. Say kind of they, they were earlier, and of course, what we see and what is the main trend is about regulation and uh, about these uh, changes. In the um, we see also some uh, changes in the platform in kind of a quality and quantity. And if the market entrance was easier earlier, hmm. now it became more complicated because uh, it's kind of you need a regulation for entrance and in Latvia yeah it's not only in Latvia because if you are speaking this P2P uh, industry you have a kind of a three possibilities right now so you can be regulated as uh, investment brokerage company or something similar in other countries which is a kind of a local interpretation of the uh, European Union regulation mm. And uh, we have this crowdfunding regulation, which is uh, this um, deadline for which was postponed for one more year. And we see that also some P2P uh, platforms are uh, acquiring this crowdfunding um, license as well. So they are also become regulated. And uh, you have uh, also a possibility to continue to work in unregulated uh, world, let's say, uh, with uh, some exceptions. But, uh, and of course, it's easier to enter market as an unregulated platform. But I think for business continuity, uh, it's, a, it's a crucial, it's a kind of a, it's a must, mm -hmm. to my opinion, to have this uh, license. And if you are really transparent and if you are oriented uh, on investors yes it's it's a matter of investors protection you have to acquire license that's my personal opinion and i am really proud that the client invest we got this license of course we got a lot of challenges 
really at all. We, we made a lot of mistakes, but still that was done because we want to protect our investors. We want to continue the business. We like it. We enjoy being in the industry mm. and uh, we want to work it kind of way as long as it will be necessary for our loan originators mm. to serve them and to help uh, group to grow. And uh, I think that uh, we need to think positive. Uh, I really hope that uh, those platforms which are unregulated they will be honest and transparent with the investors how they could be. But I think that uh, it's a matter of time when these unregulated platforms will be switched off the market because uh, they will get some uh, problems with, uh, the, uh, with the countries, with the regulators, I don't know, with taxes or with, with some other uh, state uh, not companies, but uh, from fr they will get some problems from the state yeah. where mm -hmm. they are registered. The local authorities, yeah. With local authorities, right. And they also could have problems with the partners, I mean, with banks or payment institutions, mm -hmm. because it's additional risk. And uh, we see that the unregulated platform, it's uh, at least what I know, it's almost impossible to open account mm. in a bank. Even for regulated. It's, Estoniana, it's yeah, I mentioned they, not all of them understand this business model. Mm. And even if you're regulated, it, it helps, of course, but still they consider all their policies and risks and see if they want to work with you or not. So for unregulated, it's even more complicated. Yeah. And it's in a, if it is an account and payment institution, uh, this is a question about the this payment institution. If uh, additional risk for the investor if mm -hmm. their bank partner is not trustworthy. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's a matter of time. So I I'm really nervous about that because we are all all of us are in the same boat in mm -hmm. a way because uh, we have investors which are investing like you. Yeah. Say, yeah. <laughs> which are investing everywhere. And, uh, I'm not investing everywhere. But <laughs> I checked sorry. out a lot of platforms. Yeah. <laughs> but you are investing uh, in regulated and not regulated that's platforms, true. Mm. and that's a kind of a uh, surprise for me to see that uh, because if um, regulated platform has highest interest rate higher than the unregulated, mm. why you invest in unregulated platform mm. with higher with high risk? And less interest. Yeah, for me the answer is quite simple because mostly I know who is behind the platform and I know the teams. But um, from the outside, I would today also more invest in regulated um, platforms. Of course, it's just because I have more background information and I know some people for uh, almost yeah, ten years sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, the main reason to invest in unregulated platforms as well. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Yeah, if you are protected by the uh, this Personal. investor protection scheme, yeah, because maybe you have some insider information as well <laughs> on some platforms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But hopefully it will, like, we'll never know because uh, hopefully there will not be such situation when this uh, investor protection scheme has to be enabled. No, but I also <laughs> made some lessons, so I had some lessons and lost some money. So I learned a lot, I would say. So today I would want to um, invest in every company. And then when I started to invest my own money, it was uh, quite hard to evaluate all the platforms because everything was unregulated. The P2P market was quite new. Today, it's much easier to um, find good platforms than it was before. And also the investors today are more careful than before. Um, all the scams came up 2019. And after that, um, the investors became more careful and also invest not in the super new platforms from, I don't know, Croatia or somewhere else. They are very careful about this. And it's understandable. Yeah, and that, that's I would say regulation is a kind of a first trend, which is which I think during next this and next year we will see mm -hmm. how it looks like. And the second is that most probably all the platforms, I mean, which are regulated, they will come, uh, they will try to attract um, 
customers with some changes in the products or additional products, maybe uh, to get some integration with uh, service providers, which could uh, also uh, create, uh, diversify, to help our investors to diversify their portfolio here. So not only P2P, but something else. Mm -hmm. But also could be that uh, it, it could be uh, a possibility, and we have such example already in Latvian markets, that some platforms, or some companies will, uh, uh, how to say it, <laughs> will, will come together, will, uh, uh -huh. will acquire one company, will yeah, acquire yeah. another, merge, merge and acquisition. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, just wanted to say sum up, but it's not a correct about the companies. <laughs> yeah, so, so we'll I, see some mergers probably. Yeah, I think that it's also possible. It could be very interesting. Yeah, I think we saw it once uh, with two real estate platforms from from Lithuania in Rento, and uh, they took over Evo Estate as some real estate marketplace. But um, yeah, there's not a, not a big example so yeah. so far. But it happens quite a lot in the finance and fintech. Yeah, yeah, fintech sure. So uh, why B two P? would be different. So we probably mm -hmm. can expect that as well. Yeah. Yeah.